uh, good day viewers uh, in this video we are going to go through science paper 2 2023 question 4 in section B and uh, the question reads figure 4.1 shows an electronic structure for element Q now element Q has the following structure you no know, it has a uh, an atomic structure where the first shell has two electrons, the second shell has eight, and the third, which is the last, or the outermost shell has seven. Then the question continues to read, name element Q, that is question 4A, Roman number 1, 4A1, name element Q. Now from that, we can tell its electronic configuration for Q is uh, the first shell has two, the second shell eight, the third shell seven. So if we are to total this, the sum of this gives us 17. So what does this tell you? Q must have a 17 here as the proton number. Here we are not interested. So which one in the periodic table has 17? So if we go in the periodic table, we discover that it's chlorine. So the answer for question uh, for question four uh, four A one is chlorine, and this is a neutral atom, by the way. It is not an ion because there is uh, no any electron that has been donated to chlorine for it to make an octet electronic configuration. We go to B, I mean Roman numero 2, which says state the period of the periodic table uh, where element Q belongs. So the period is, uh, you, how do you know the period? You count the number of shells. First shell, second shell, third shell. One, two, three, three shells. So the period is period D, three. Period D, three. Period three. Reason or explanation? The explanation is that uh, the number of shells corresponds to the number of period or to the period in which the element is found. Okay, so the number of shells of an element or atom corresponds corresponds to the period in which the element is found. That's the criteria we use. Then we go to question uh, four uh, A Roman numero three. <clears throat> question reads: uh, Explain how an atom of element Q acquires chemical stability. By it acquires chemical stability. Now look at it because uh, this one uh, is not stable. It needs to react for it to acquire stability. And it can only do so by gaining an electron from a metal. That is when it acquires chemical stability. So we say by gaining an electron, possibly from a metal. That is when it acquires chemical stability. The last question, which is question B, reads and says, explain what you understand by the term nucleon number. So a nucleon number is the total number of uh, protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Okay, the total number of neutrons and protons in an atom.
that is what we call a uh, nuclear number and this nuclear number is basically found in the nucleus so from the word nucleus translate uh, converted to nuclear talking about what is found in the nucleus i hope this video was helpful good day